so this vlog is going to be a review. I have bought myself a new laptop and that is the Dell 15 inch Inspiration 7567. So let's open the box here and get inside and see what's in here. Okay, so my new package has arrived and as you can see I bought it from John Lewis. Now, not the typical sort of retailer for laptops, well, they were the best deal I found. So I had a little shop around and I found that from the Dell website, direct from Dell, the price of this laptop was £1,349. When I looked on uh, Curry's PC World, it was, they didn't have the same configuration but it was up above that figure. When I went to John Lewis, I found the same laptop for a reasonable price of £1,299. And to top it off, it came with a free three-year warranty, which I'm not sure the other retailers were including with this laptop. So let's go into specs. On the back, you've got these quite large outlets for heat ventilation, because this laptop is really packing some power. So on the side, I believe the first port is the uh, locking mechanism if you have to secure your laptop to a desk or something. The next is your power, then a USB 3, and then an SD card slot. Looking on the front, there's a nice red and black graphic, which has the black plastic raised and a nice red behind it. And this matches its very nifty fan vents on the other side. Onto the other side of the laptop, we've got a headphone socket, two more USB 3s, a HDMI out, and the LAN port. As you can see on the bottom there's a couple more vents for heat distribution. In the centre over there there's the one screw panel removal for easy access to the RAM and hard drives. You have a subwoofer here which gives it a bit more oomph to the sound. So the top of it seems to be very nice. It is prone to fingerprints but these do rub off quite easily. But I noticed that when I opened the box. So this is the product, this is it. And it's a very powerful laptop of the size. It looks bigger in the pictures, but I found it to be quite a little bit thinner to actually lift from my old laptop. My old laptop is from 2010, so this is a hefty upgrade. So, processors. It has a 7700HQ quad-core 7th generation Intel processor, which runs at about 2.5 GHz up to about 3.8 when overclocked. It has 16 gigs of RAM, but can expand up to 32 gigabytes. It has an NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti graphics card which comes with 4GB of RAM which is insanely powerful for a laptop of this size. A very fast 512GB solid state PCI Express hard drive which is about as fast as you can get these days. It can run information between the hard drive and the computer at 1.2 gigabits a second. If you know a bit about the old SATA connections for hard drives, had your SATA 1 which worked at 150 megabits a second, SATA 2 that worked at 300 megabits a second, SATA 3 that worked at 600 megabits a second, and the solid state PCI Express, this current one works at 1.2 gigabits a second. So extremely fast. It is sold as a gaming laptop. I am using it more for editing. I want to edit stuff in 4K. I have multiple cameras, multiple streams of sound. Uh, it's probably going to be quite good for graphics editing because the graphics card on board is fairly powerful. All round, it's a pretty good laptop for the price. There are more powerful laptops out there on the market, but putting power over value, this is what I chose. But putting the power of the laptop, the portability, the overall aesthetics, the combination of the specs. If you're trying to do 4K editing and your budget stretches this far, I highly recommend this product. And then there's the screen. Now, the lower version of this, which is about £300 cheaper, has a TN monitor, and it's shocking that they sell that quality of monitor on a laptop because it is awful. Um, it's a 1080p display and it has no, the viewing angles are atrocious. 
this one, however, for the extra £300, I've got the 512GB solid state hard drive with the PCI Express connector and this amazing screen. Now this screen is 4K, not 1K, not 2K, not 3K, but 4K. It has an IPS screen, which means the viewing angles are almost 180 degrees. You can see it from anywhere without getting any distortion or fading like you do with some of the cheaper monitors. If you're doing anything to do with graphics or editing or anything which needs accurate colours, this is your better choice of the two. In fact, this is so powerful, I'm going to use this as my main computer, thus eliminating the need to transfer files backwards and forwards between computer and laptop. How am I going to do that? Well, I've got a keyboard and mouse, USB. I've got myself something else. <sighs> now, this is not 4K because they're very expensive right now. This was £129 from PC World Carries and it will do the job. It's a 23 inch Dell monitor. It has all the IPS, it's 1080p and it will do a good job. So now I can replace my old tired monitor with something much better. More cables, instructions, driver CD, part of the monitor stand, monitor stand itself. Well, that was simple. Just clicks in. Even comes with an HDMI cable. That's nice. Thanks, Dell. And a plug. Shiny. So it looks like it's just a push fit. Glad um, it's got protective plastic on it. Ah, no damage. That's why they put plastic around the rims of it so you don't knock it when you put them together. So I can abandon my old VGA cable and replace it with a nice digital HDMI cable. Yay! Right, I'll take all the plastics off now. Look how shiny this back of this monitor is. It's like a piano key. So what I'm going to do with my old monitor is to repurpose the monitor for my CCTV. Now at the moment I'm using uh, an old LCD TV but the camera is HD and the monitor isn't so I'm going to use my old monitor which is HD as a replacement for this so that I can see my cameras better. Just connect up the old VGA cable having some issues with re resolution. Hey, it works. Bye.